In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the subscribe module. The subscribe module uh, connects to various uh, newsletter mailing list systems, MailChimp, Aweber, and FeedBurner, and allows you to create opt-in boxes to collect, uh, collect subscribers for your mailing lists. You can see it makes a little opt-in box with a, a title, some descriptive text, uh, and the name and email fields. And depending on which system you've integrated with and which list you've chosen, um, these people will get added to your mailing list automatically. The first thing you need to do before you can create a subscribe uh, box is connect your WordPress account with one of those three systems. So um, let's go over how to use MailChimp first. So the first thing you want to do is under Appearances, click the Divi Theme Options link, which will bring you to this page, which is our ePanel Theme Options page. If you scroll down on that first page, you're going to see the MailChimp API key box. You want to copy and paste your MailChimp API key there. If you don't know where to find your MailChimp API key, we have a link down below in the documentation. Um, you can log into your MailChimp account and send your account settings, and you can create a, an API key there and copy and paste it. And after you add it, uh, click Save down here, and then you'll be all linked up. So now that we've linked our account to MailChimp, we can add the subscribe module. So I'm going to add it down here below the uh, blog, below my blog, so that people can um, subscribe to my newsletter and hear about my new blog posts. So I'm going to click Add a section, Insert columns. I'm just going to do a full one, one column layout. Click Insert modules, and then find the subscribe module, which is right here. Now we're going to use MailChimp this time, because I've already connected my MailChimp account. And because I've connected it, you can see I get a list here of all my lists that are in MailChimp. So I've created this Divi, Divi demo list. I'm going to select that. Now you can give your uh, subscribe box a title, some button text. You can also choose whether or not you want to use a background color. In this case, uh, my blog's on a white background, and I want to make this pop out, so I'm going to choose to use a background color so people really grabs people's attention. And if you choose to use a background color, the next option here allows you to select uh, the color that you'd like to use. Because I've chosen a rather dark color, I want my text to be light. So here is the next option, the text color option. You can choose light or dark. If you're using very light color for your background, or if you're just on white with no background, you probably want to use dark text. But in this case, I'm going to be using light text. You can choose the text orientation, left, right, or center. And then you can define. Um, some more descriptive text, which will uh, display below the title. And I'm going to save, update this page, and then take a look at our blog here. If I scroll down below the blog module, you can see the subscribe box that I've added here. So that's how you use MailChimp. Now let's go over how to use Aweber next. So back on um, the ePanel theme options page that we were at earlier, under Appearances, Divi theme options. You scroll down on that first page, right below the MailChimp API key box is the Aweber authorization box. Right here is a link. It says generate authorization code. You want to click that link and it's going to prompt you to log in to Aweber. Once you log in, it's going to give you a code. That's your uh, authorization code. Just copy and paste that right in this box here. And then click the make a connection button. Then you're going to get all you're going to be linked up to Aweber. And then next time you um, create a subscribe module box, you're going to have Aweber as an option, and you're going to get all your lists just like we did with MailChimp. So let's go back to the page we were building. So let's go back to here. And this time, I'm going to choose Aweber instead of MailChimp. And because we've, I've linked myself up already, you can see here's a list of um, all my lists. And you can choose which one you want to use for the subscribe box. When someone subscribes, they're going to be automatically added to that list. The rest of the options are all the same. Finally, we have uh, FeedBurner. So FeedBurner um, works a little differently. Um, it's, there's not like a, a linking method. You don't have to like authorize. Instead, you just type in your uh, FeedBurner for FeedBurner account name. So if we choose FeedBurner here, just type in your feed title. If you don't know what that is, there's a link here which will uh, tell you how to find it. Just type it in, and then 
that's it. You'll, people who sign up will automatically get added to your feed burner um, email updates. And that's it. That's how you use the subscribe module.